What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now this is going to be a nice and simple, more of like a tutorial video for you guys on how to reach 200% critical hit damage and actually well above that. Um, reason being is I did a poll a few days ago because I have a crit build together but it's not completely maxed so I was wondering what you guys usually run and a lot of you in the comment section below were like oh I can't get over 170 I can't get over 180 crit damage you know how are you seeing these crazy numbers well just to show you the highest I've been able to reach is 221.6 critical hit damage you can find that under your weapon stats right below critical hit chance now this one, this is just a tester build just to show you guys how to do this. This one has max crit chance at 60% and 221.6 critical hit damage. Now yes, I can get that number higher and I'll show you exactly why. Now starting with like the fundamentals on how to get this much, you can actually see the breakdown here on the right side of your screen. So I am using critical hit damage on all pieces of gear, including my weapon. So this is just an example. This is a tester build just to show you guys. Now this is a Vector 45 ACP. This one has critical hit damage as the normal attribute, maxed out 10%. So right there, I'm getting an extra 10% where some of you might not have that on your weapon. So that's 10% right there. I'm at 221. Now another spot a lot of you overlook is your watch level. For example, on this character, I spec'd all into crit first, and then I'm moving on to weapon damage and headshot damage. So just to show you, critical hit damage, once you max it out in your watch, that's 20% critical hit damage just from that one thing. Same with crit chance. Maxed out crit chance, you get 10% crit chance. Remember the cap is only 60. So having that max crit chance really does help with the crit damage. You don't just spec all into crit damage thinking you're going to get anything out of that. If you don't have the crit chance, you might as well just go over to weapon damage because the crit damage is not gonna matter if you have very low crit chance. So what I did here is I made sure I was at the cap for 60, and then I wanted to see how high up I could get that crit damage. Now, that's just the weapon and the watch. The other spots you need to look for are the gear and brand set bonuses. So this, again, is a tester build, but I wanted to show you the combination that you have to have. Because remember, above all else, these Division II builds are all based off of math algorithms. There's a certain equation to every problem. Right now, your problem is how can I get crit damage up high? And the only solution is to run three Providence Defense, one Grupo Sombra, and two Sokolov Concern. Now I'm testing out a different theory later, but for right now, this is the only combination to get crazy numbers like I just showed you. Now, if you look further into Providence defense, you have to have three pieces because the third piece is crit hit damage for 15%. Group Osombra you have to wear one of these to get 15% crit damage for that brand set bonus. And then again, Sokolov Concern, you have to have two to get that 15% critical hit damage. So that's the next part to this, is you have to have your weapon, crit hit damage, you have to have three Providence, one group Osombra, two Sokolov Concern to get all the brand set bonuses that give you crit damage. And then the next part is rolling each piece to crit damage or 
miraculously, you know, one just falls out of the sky and you get a god rolled one like this one right here. Now, the after you've rolled each of these to crit damage, because you can see right here, I said I could get the numbers higher right now. I'm not even wearing max crit damage on the gloves and I'm still at 221. But you just keep rolling crit damage to each of these pieces. And then that's 12% per piece times six. So the last part to this are the red mods. You need to make sure that you are wearing pieces that give you red mod slots. So in this example, I have two Providence defense and they both, well, three Providence defense and all three of these have red mod slots. Now the max for a crit damage mod is 12%. I do not have max uh, mods. So this one right here is 11.8. So I'm missing 0.2 right there. If I go to this one, I'm at 11.9. That's very close, near max. And then for the chest piece, again, red mod, crit damage. This one's only at 11.5. So I'm missing a whole nother percent plus just because of my mods. So the reason why I wanted to name this how to reach 200% critical hit damage plus is because right now I'm sitting at 221, but you have to remember that that watch level gives you 20%. So a lot of you that can't get above, you know, 170, 180, it might be because of your watch level. So make sure you spec into that critical hit damage, because if I did not spec into critical hit damage at the watch level that I'm at, I would only be at 201% instead of that 221%. So just be mindful of that. Make sure you have crit damage on your weapon, on your watch levels, on your gear, on your mods, and your brand set bonus. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to do that as short and sweet as possible, but uh, we'll see how that went. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you're new and ring that notification bell. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.